Hey guys, welcome back to Heart to Heart. I am Bernadette Jones, and today I want to talk to you guys about fear, specifically fear not, and what the Bible says about fear. And I want to start off with a couple of scriptures. 2 Timothy 1 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. So, in that scripture right there, it says, God hasn't given us fear. So, fear is not of God. For a Christian, it's we're not supposed to have fear. And then Job 3.25, it reads, For the thing I greatly feared has come upon me, and what I dreaded has happened to me. So with everything that happened to Job and what he went through and Satan attacking him, his fear brought that on. Your fear opens up the door to the enemy. So as a believer, that's not something we need to joke about. That's not something we kid about. That's not something we play around about when it comes to fear because fear is a very dangerous thing i'm mean, with job he said what i feared he feared losing his children he feared going through everything that he went through and then he experienced it and you have a lot of people who fear a lot of different things and that fear will kill you that fear can kill you and then um you know god says several times in the word fear not several times it says fear not so for the believer we don't operate in fear and faith. We only operate in faith. And I'm going to read you 1 John 4, um, 7 through 18. It's, it's quite a lot. It says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God was manifested toward us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the appropriation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. So this establishes here that God is love. Like, that's who he is, that is his nature. And we are to love others. Verse 12. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us. So if we walk in love and we're loving others, that means God God abides in us. And his love has been perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us. Because he has given us his spirit, which is love, not fear. His spirit is love. Verse 14, and we have seen and testify that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. And we know we, oh, and we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. So this literally builds on itself and it's, it's repeating the same thing. It's making a point that if we abide in love, God abides in us and we abide in him. Verse 17, love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because he is, so are we in this world. And verse 18 is the one I want to get to. And it says, there is no fear in love. So there's no fear in love. So as believers, if we're walking in love, you shouldn't have any fear at all. None whatsoever. Not afraid of nothing. Nothing. You should have no fear whatever. But perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. So it says here in scripture, if you have fear, you have not been made perfect in God's love. That's, that's huge. Because you hear so many people talk about and joke about what they're afraid of and they're, they're afraid of this and they have this fear. And if you're walking in love and if God abides in you, you don't have fear. There is nothing to be afraid of in any situation. And even in Isaiah 41 um, I think it's verse 10. God says, fear not for I am with you. It says, be not dismayed for I am your God. So God is with you wherever you go. So whatever you're doing, whatever God has called you to do, there is no reason for you to be afraid in anything. 
especially if it's something that he's called you to, you can do it because he's given you the ability to do it. There's no need to be afraid of anything. And God is with you no matter where you go or what you do. And I hear people say all the time, they're afraid of this or they're afraid of that. They're afraid of, I heard people say, you know, oh, I can live in a city because I'm afraid of driving on the freeway. Well, you rebuke fear. You don't do things afraid. And you'll hear people say that. Of like, oh, just do it afraid. No, you rebuke your fear and you do it in faith and in love and whenever that fear comes up you rebuke it It, it's a spirit because even even paul says when he's writing to timothy god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind so you have love which is how you cannot have fear so as a believer we don't operate in fear. We don't live in fear. We don't walk in fear. We don't joke about fear. We don't speak fear. You don't fear for your children. You don't worry for your children. You, Because what that actually does, that actually opens a door to Satan. It's literally like saying, Satan, hey, come over here and make this thing that I'm afraid of happen. Because it's if you have fear, that is literally the opposite of faith. Because to have faith in God is you believe him you believe what he says when you have fear you are believing an illusion or a lie of the enemy and you know I've heard an acronym for fear it says it's false evidence appearing real you make up so many scenarios in your mind that have never happened and do the what if and you know what if what if what if what if okay what if it never happens then what but at the same time, if you're speaking fear and you're operating in fear, you're planting that seed. You're planting an, a, a seed that is going to grow. Any seed that's planted produces the harvest. And that's just scripture. You reap what you sow. So bountifully, you know, there's so many scriptures on that. I'm not really going to get into that. But when it comes to this fear, th that is l no joke, y'all. No joke at all that is something that we need to stop talking about in the body of Christ we need to stop telling people it's okay to have fear and it's normal it's normal in your natural sinful nature it's normal as a child of God who is love it is not normal or natural to have fear it is normal and natural to walk in love and to have faith so if you're dealing with fear you're experiencing fear rebuke that right now fear get out of here i'm walking in love god is with me i will not be afraid and there are so many scriptures that you can find or even google on fear not or do not be afraid even anytime an angel appeared to somebody the first thing that angel said was be not afraid fear not do not fear because they wanted them to know look i'm not someone to be afraid of i'm a messenger from god and i have a message for you so even if whatever you're facing, you have no reason to be afraid of it. None whatsoever. If you're facing a mountain or circumstances or a situation, we talked in a previous video how to deal with those mountains, how to get rid of those mountains. And the same thing when it comes to fear, you rebuke that fear with the word and you let it know, no, you are not welcome here. I'm not going to entertain that. And then you start walking in faith and you face it. You do what God has called you to do in faith, not in in fear because we do not fear we do not have the spirit of fear we have the spirit of love which is the holy spirit we have power and we have a sound mind we are not to be afraid of anybody or of anything and we are to have boldness and we are to go and walk and live in boldness not to live in fear so I'd encourage you guys to go back and look at those scriptures and read those scriptures and meditate on them and, and get them in you get that fear out of you and don't let people speak fear around you and don't let them speak it over you don't let people tell you that you should be afraid to do something you openly say no I'm not afraid to do anything because God hasn't given me a spirit of fear he's given me power love and a sound mind 
And don't let people, because people will try. The enemy will, will use people to try and put that fear in your head and that thought in your head. And you don't. You rebuke them. Be like, mm, no, no, God hasn't given me that. I have power, I have love, and I have a sound mind, and I'm not afraid of anything because God is with me. I have God's love nature, and God is with me, so I'm not afraid of anything. When you know God is on your side, you have no reason to be afraid. So thank you guys for joining us for this Heart to Heart. Um, like this video, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share it with anyone that you know. Y'all people are afraid, and they're walking in fear, and we need to get it out let them know they don't have to be afraid of anything. So I'll see you guys in the next video.